Hello friends, it's me. It's been a while since I reacted to some 90 Day Fiance. Y'all remember Big Ed and Rose? So this is um, mouthwash. And I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, at that point, just surprise her with a trip to the dentist and be like, girl, your breath stank. There is no nice way to put it here. TLC hit the jackpot with this couple. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. Yeah. There is this couple, Brandon and Mary, and they are on FaceTime 24 seven. Whatever he be doing that day, he going for a walk outside. He's on FaceTime with his girl. Hey babe, don't worry, I'm going to the dentist. Make sure you turn your screen in all directions. Make sure no females in the vicinity, they are not allowed within 20 feet of this man because that's her man. You know, she gotta keep eyes on him at all times. Salt there is, is right no trusting what, what this man think? could do when he is off FaceTime. Mary wants to know what I'm doing. She's very clingy and I really like that because I'm kind of the same way. Oh, he's the same way? Oh, she's my little Disney princess. She never lets to leave her room. So this is like a mutual thing. He want to keep an eye on her at all times. She want to keep an eye on him at all times. I get it. Hi, my Hi. name's Brandon. I schedule a teeth cleaning for 11 a.m. <gasps> oh, no, wait. Did y'all see that? There is another female in the dentist's office. Is his girlfriend going to be okay with it? We have very similar past histories. Our ex has cheated on us and contributes to our insecurities and jealousy issues. And so being on the phone 24 seven helps give that reassurance that we're not doing anything that we shouldn't be. I mean, if you both have been cheated on, shouldn't it be like a mutual understanding? Like, I know what it's like, so I don't want to hurt you. But no, it's the exact opposite with them. They're like, no, I'm going to be extra careful with you because I don't trust anyone after what happened to me. I mean, I get that. Also, I can be kind of like that because it's like my man belongs to me. I get a little crazy. I understand. So seeing people in a relationship like this makes me feel better about myself. Who's going to clean your teeth? Um, I don't know their name. Brandon. Hey. Oh, no, here it is. I cannot believe another female is going to clean my man's teeth. She goes stick her hands down your mouth. That's my job. This is the part of the FaceTime he doesn't show. Yeah, I have no idea who's cleaning my teeth. Definitely not a pretty blonde lady named Audrey. <laughs> In Mary's dream world, me interacting with another woman would never happen. I wouldn't be able to talk to another woman even at like a grocery store. She gets insecure and jealous and it can turn into a huge fight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'll do it. You see a decent looking woman, boy, you better keep your eyes down. You do not make eye contact. They talk to you, you turn the other way. They ask you if you want plastic or paper. You say your girlfriend at home because you love her. You will not be seduced by a cashier. I understand where she's coming from because I have a lot of trust issues, but I think people need to chill. If you sit and think about it, people most likely do not want your man. You might think he is the most perfectest, handsomest, gorgeous hunk of a man, but most people are gonna look at them and be like, eh, mid. Mary, I can tell you right now, ain't nobody out to steal your man. Is it okay if I put the phone up somewhere where my significant other can see me? Of course. And what's her name? <laughs> Mary. Hey, Mary. Uh, hello. <laughs> Welcome. Oh my God, this is so awkward. She is this close to crying. Don't tell me she's going through a fit right now on FaceTime. Shoot as she put her hands in her man's mouth. Can you please stop? Please don't touch him. Can we request a male dentist? I've never had a patient bring somebody else on video call. Couples can be really close, but this is a whole nother level. <laughs> gotta be with my man to support him during his teeth cleanings. You gotta watch, make sure no funny business goes on. You're welcome, take off your mask whenever you're ready. This is so awkward. I start to get anxious and tense up when I'm around other women now because I don't want to fight with Mary every single time I'm interacting with another woman. <laughs> And you know what? That's how I'm trying to get my man to be. You know, this is learned behavior. The best thing you could do is honestly just don't look at them. Maybe I'm the wrong person to react to this. I'm on Mary's side. But it's like, what are you gonna do in this situation? Like, it's your dentist. She's cleaning your teeth. She most likely has no interest in you whatsoever. Does Mary not have a job? You ain't got nothing to do all day but to spectate your boyfriend's life? How long have you guys been dating? Um, we've been dating for over two years now. Imagine if he said two weeks. Like, oh, and he got her on a tripod. Bro, live streaming for one. Is this your first love? No, it's <gasps> not. Oh! <gasps> 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 <gasps>
Well, I'm gonna go show Dr. Tammy your films and we'll oh. be right back in, okay? okay Don't tell me she just go start crying on FaceTime in the middle of the dentist's office. Oh no, this is embarrassing. Girl, stop, save it for later. Save it for when you hang up. I would never cry on FaceTime. Like I'ma hang up and then the tears are gonna come out. Girl, this is so embarrassing. You punch in the air because he said she wasn't his first love. He had a girlfriend before. She cheated on him. What, is he supposed to say, yeah, I never loved her? Baby, you're the only woman I ever loved and will ever love. Are you crying? Oh boy. You lied to Here me. It comes. You said I'm your first love, but now you said I'm not. What she means by that is like first girlfriend. I have an ex too, but he's not my first love. Oh, when you put it like that, yes, you of course you are my first love. He just said no. Okay, but when you were dating your ex at the time, he was your love. What, so you weren't in love with him, but you were dating him? Girl, you're making yourself look stupid. Baby, I'm sorry. It's not what I meant. Five minutes into the dentist office and we already started a fight and she's crying. To be honest, I don't know how long this relationship's gonna last. Okay, guys, if your girlfriend is upset, literally just hug her, tell her how much you love her, tell her how beautiful and gorgeous she is and how she's the most beautiful, gorgeous woman in the world and how you love her more than anybody. And then that's it. That's literally all girls wanna hear. That you love them and that you think they're pretty. It is literally so simple. Unless they're using you for your money. So in that case, just Venmo them $100 and be like, sorry, babe. Go buy yourself a Frappuccino and a Stanley Cup or something. They fight over some crazy things. Bro had to get on a plane and sat next to a female. And this is how it went. I'm kind of like scatterbrained right now. I was sitting next to a girl and Mary was overthinking, so I got switched to an empty seat. Okay, that is embarrassing. But woo! I'd take an empty seat over a person any day. That sounds like a win-win situation. Now your FaceTime girlfriend can sit there. It's like she's on the plane with you. He is on his way, on a plane, to go see her in the Philippines. She sent him all these nasty texts. And she's like, you're a liar and a cheater. I don't want to see you. I don't want to live a life with you. You're not belong here. Don't come here. Why? Because he got seated next to a female on his flight to go see her. Yeah, sorry babe. What are the chances I fell in love with the woman sitting next to me on a 10-hour flight that I decided I don't want to be with you anymore? I'll be with her instead. Girl, be for real. I'm just so used to overthinking and fighting over the phone that it's just become normal for us. You make me hurt. You make me but... crazy. So you and your girls there. I didn't D anything. I cannot believe they're actually fighting about a girl seated next to him on the plane. He cannot control that. Yeah, sorry. I picked this specific seat because this woman was sitting there. Like, what if it's somebody's 65-year-old auntie? Sometimes you gotta be reasonable. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I go. Imagine him being on FaceTime and he goes one into his mom. Mary, come on, where do you draw the line? Is he allowed to hug his mom? Is he allowed to high five his sister? Or are they considered ops too? There's always that like fear that I'm never gonna see you again. You're my son. A lot of the closeness that Brendan and I lost was my fault. Mary stood in the way of that. And that's the hardest part about watching him go. Part of me is missing. I got Wi-Fi finally. Let me see who's next to you. They have me sitting next to a girl, Mary. Nothing I could do about it. Why does she care? He is literally on a plane to another country to see you. And you care who he's sitting next to? You know, when you get this crazy, this is when they start lying. You know, in the future, he's gonna start lying about little things like this. Like, oh, I'm sitting next to a guy. I ain't nothing for you to worry about. Just wow, you always wanna be with girls. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what kind of history this guy Guy has he could be down bad for all I know I don't know if he's done things where she can't trust him around other females maybe he got a looking problem you know that'll do it but you cannot pick who you sit next to on a plane like she really let this ruin her entire day he said I'm not talking to anyone Mary you can't even reply because you're talking to her yeah I'm telling you what are the chances that the girl he's sitting next to on the plane ride to be with the love of his life ends up being the love of his life right next to him on the plane ride and then ends up sabotaging this entire relationship and the entire point of him going to the Philippines because I can't stop staring at the gorgeous human right next to me that's definitely also interested in him too. Mary, you being a little delulu. I mean, what about the air?
airport. Half the population is, is female. Is he supposed to like go his entire life just looking down? You know, I wouldn't want a man that I can't trust around other females. You know, that's the whole point. Like you need to be able to trust him around other people. It's almost like there's a 50% chance that he sits next to a female. And, and then if he's in a middle seat, it's an even greater chance that one of the people on either side of him will be female. Then what? She upset, but no one's sitting next to me, so. Oh, just wait. Just wait till they do sit next to you. It makes me very worried about whether or not I'm making the right choice going to the Philippines and committing my whole life. At that point, existing is a reason to get mad. I paid for my flight. I'm on my way to see you. You know what? Don't even bother coming. Look, if you're gonna sit next to a girl, I don't want you. You're tainted. I mean, at this point, when it's this bad, you gotta realize that you have an issue. Like, you have trust issues that you need to work on. You're gonna be mad the rest of your life if this is gonna be your mindset. But anyways, I hope TLC drops some more of this. I'm really enjoying this content. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.